Hey guys, today we are going to eat at Pick Two Chinatown here in Jakarta, Indonesia. But first, Jordy's gonna brush his teeth. to go to Pant Joran Chinatown. Okay, cool, it comes up right there. Awesome, oh, it's super far, 16 kilometers. Wow, yeah, yeah. that's gonna be, Ooh. oh my goodness. How long does it take us to get there? I don't know, that's gonna be far. Yeah, is that pick two? It's like on, a, it's like on an island. Yeah, it is, that's okay. crazy. Wow, that's a, an expensive car ride. That is really expensive. Wow, that's that's not. That's, that's what that other. Expensive. That's what that other YouTube girl was saying. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, the grab driver is near. The first pack a masker. Thank you, kind sir. We would use public transportation like the MRT or the KRL, but we tried to do that yesterday we're and not we're not allowed. They rejected us because we are not essential workers. Here's what we know about pick two. Nothing. Not very much. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that a bunch of other YouTubers have gone there and it looks really fun. I wish I brought my funny. Well, so we know a lot of other YouTubers have, ah! My master! What I was trying to say is we know that a lot of other YouTubers have gone there and it looks like they've had a really good time and gotten to eat a lot of really tasty food. So that's the other thing we know is that there's a lot of street vendors and a lot of different kinds of food there, including Indonesian food and Chinese food and we don't know anything else. We like food, look at our bellies. Um, num, num. <laughs> the other thing we know about pick is that there's actually two of them. There's pick one and pick two. And my understanding is that Pick one is a mall, Pick Avenue Mall, and it's really fancy. And then pick two is the Chinatown. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but we're going over a cool bridge. We are so impressed already. This drive has been epic. How epic has it been so far? Mind blown. take a look around and get acquainted with what we're doing before we buy any food or anything. Anything you want to say? I'm just kind of like overwhelmed right now as you think. Yeah, I think we got to get our bearings. Yeah. So Jordy's really thirsty so we're gonna start with just getting him a drink or a juice. Jordy's starting off the day here with, with a jeruk. So I'm just starting off our trip here with a taro boba tea, which is like my absolute favorite. And the place I got this from was actually like a durian place. And I've never tried durian, so I am thinking about maybe like while we're here getting like a durian ice cream or a durian drink to try some. How's our boba? So good, but I'm having a problem because the boba has formed a boba ball. Do you see this, guys? It's like a huge boba clump. And so it's not coming up the straw properly. Guys, so I just ordered some gao tea, which is like, I think, pork dumplings. So I'm planning out my food adventures for the day, and I'm being very strategic about this. I'm starting small with just getting the dumplings so that I'm not too full to keep going, because I also really want to try some Indonesian food, because we're obviously in Indonesia. I've tried a lot of different Indonesian food before, but I have never tried bakso, 
and I've seen some bokso and it looked really good. So I'm definitely going to try bokso today as well. This place is like Disney World of Asian food. <laughs> Wouldn't you say so? Uh, yeah, I've never been to Disney World. We're gonna have to film Jordy going to Disney World someday. I got my dumplings and they look amazing. As always in Indonesia, everything comes with sambal sauce. So I would normally expect this to come with like a dumpling sauce or a soy sauce, but this comes with Jordy. No. No, 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 no. Look what you've done now. <laughs> Naughty. 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 <laughs> no. Mm. Very hot, but very good. Story time with me. Did you know I actually studied abroad in China? And I can actually say go straight and at the first intersection turn left in Chinese. I Me actually have no idea how to speak Chinese. Chinese. I don't even know what I'm saying or who I am. Uh, who am I? That's all my Chinese. Do you guys know who this guy is? We found the secret air conditioning. Oh, air con break. What did you do? I didn't do anything. But he just broke the grocery store. I don't know how it's supposed to go on this. Oh my god, how did they put this thing on here? There we go. Fix it. So we are looking at this dark chocolate peppermint. This is Kim's favorite. It's my favorite. Absolute favorite. So I think um, I think it's coming home with us. Are you filming? Yep. This is the only thing I know how to cook. Japanese curry. Already made Japanese curry. You put it in with water and chicken in a pot. You gotta take light light breaks when in it's Indonesia. Like a thousand degrees. Light aircon breaks. We're literally, we're not being dramatic. This is actually probably the hottest day we've experienced in Indonesia. Cool, now you're trying to find some bakso. Bakso, which we haven't had, surprisingly, because we've been in Indonesia for three years. We haven't had bakso. So. Are you going to try it, babe? Yeah, yeah, why not? What is it? Pork, crackling. Oh, crackling pork. I've never tried that. I've never had pork crackling. No. What? Is it good? So I don't know which one we're supposed to get. I kind of just want plain box, so if I don't want it with the egg inside. I think this one looks pretty good. I don't know what halus is though, do you babe? Do you know what halus is? No. Oh, bisa minta bakso. Oh, ada lagi di sini. Iya, sama sih gambarnya. So, ada oh, bakso okay. urat, telur, urat kecil, halus. Oh, mau urat saja. Bakso urat ya. Yeah. Komplit nih biun sayuran ya. Oh, yeah. iya. Makasih. Satu. Ini dikasih hukum ya, Pak. Oke, oke. So, we got bakso urat. And we're gonna pay over here. Oke. Okay. Here's the moment of truth. Let's see it. We've never seen bakso. I don't know what we've been doing and Very why we haven't hot. had it. Here we have bakso, which I suppose is like meatballs and which I'm confused about because I thought we were ordering that. It is that. Oh, it just doesn't look like that. It's like the to-go version of that, I guess. I guess so. a totally different flavor than I was expecting. I really like soup, but this is, it's not like chicken broth or something. It's lighter. I don't know. It's more like water broth, like meatball broth or something. I don't know. I'm excited to try one of the meatballs and see how that actually tastes. The moment of truth. Will I like bakso? Kimberly's food reaction. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like a... It almost tastes like an Italian meatball. Jordi is very skeptical, Boxo. He's really nervous and he's a little bit more picky of an eater than me. Not much more, but like just... In our culture, if we had to, or I mean like just back home, like if we had to eat meatballs, we would never eat it in a soup like this. We would have it with some sauce, preferably yeah. like a tomato sauce, some sort of pasta sauce. Oh, what uh, about Swedish meatballs? Have you ever tried that? No. No? No, I never had Swedish meatballs. Or you would have it like crumbed. Oh, is yeah, yeah. Like yes. a crumb meatball. And then you would have it like with onions and stuff, but you would never have it in a bar. So I'm like, I don't think I like the smell or taste of the bar, but I'm gonna try the meatball. Oh, really good. Yeah, is it good? You like it? Oh. It's like a meatball. It's like a meatball. Would you have it again? No, yeah, definitely. I wouldn't eat the whole soup, like I would just eat the meatball. Just you just don't like broth so much. No. Yeah. Pork skewers. <laughs> yeah, this looks great for dinner. So this is crackling pork, yeah? Yeah, yeah, the, the, and the oh, top bit. 
Well, that looks but, like, so skin. That's good. The skin. I'm getting that. Okay. Do any of you know what this um, statue is up? To me, I thought it looked kind of like wings when we were flying. I know what it looks like to me. What does it look like to you? It looks like a statue. So I wanted to ask you, if you were here right now and you were deciding what to eat for dinner, what would you pick here? Have you been to pick two? And what is your favorite restaurant? Thinking about maybe getting one. Do you want a juice? Oh, that sounds good. Would you like a juice? Would you like one? Silicon. Silicon. <laughs> are these like bobas? Oh, they are like bobas. So papaya milk granola. Oh, I'm gonna do that one. Oh, kiwi mojo. Oh, the red berry. Although I'm not in the mood now for boba. I've been, I've had a little too much. But this is not boba. Yeah, no, yeah, it's not boba. How are you paying for everything? So, uh, pretty much here you can pay with Avo. So, so we're paying with our Avo account. Because we have Avo, so you just go scan. And then I'm going to scan that. Oh, that was quick. How, do you see how oh, quick that whoa, was? Oh, that was so fast. And then I'll just put in the amount. So it's 29,000. I'm going to do 32, just to be nice. And then I'm going to do that. And... Okay. Mm -hmm. it's Very like, milky. So what's in it? So there's some yogurt, papaya, and some milk. And so it's kind of like a milkshake, but it doesn't have the, maybe it's coconut yogurt. It doesn't have that sourness of, uh, oh, yes. of yogurt. It very much tastes like a milkshake, which is cool because I haven't been able to find a milkshake here in Indonesia, like a really good one, mm -hmm. for a while. And that um, has fruit in it, so it's like healthy milk. That's like super healthy. We're going to get some crackling pork. Just grab it and find a place to eat. This is crackling pork. I have never had it before, but um, it looks amazing. Going for a bite? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god. That's my new favorite food. <laughs> okay, are we gonna try sugar cane juice? Yeah. That looks really cool. You can see sugar canes. Oh, well, you can get different ones. Like, you can get original lychee, ginger, lemon, mojito. Ooh, the wild on Saturday night. It's cool. Apparently, this has benefits like actually controlling diabetes and energy, and then a lot of other things that I can't read. <laughs> Why does it say controlling diabetes? Oh, yeah, there, there. Mm, that's very cool. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, this is coming up the other side. Can I get a close-up shot? Oh, there's the bee. The bee roll. Ha ha! Hi, bee roll! I would have thought that sugar cane would be bad for you, but that thing was saying it's good for you because I guess it's like sh cane sugar and sugar is not very good for you. It's not bad. It's not bad not at bad. all. It's very, very sweet. Can you taste the ginger? I can taste a bit of ginger, but okay. mostly very, very sweet. It's really nice. It's almost like an iced tea. I think we have to let the ice cool it though because okay, the bottom's okay. a little warm. Time now and we've walked around this place like 30 times already so we are just going to get one more food to take home so we can have a proper dinner and she might eat here. oh yeah oh we're gonna eat it here i think we're gonna have like some of it here and whatever we can't finish we'll take home yeah because we've been eating a lot of snacks today Hi, the last thing we're gonna get is nasi champur nasi champur from this place here
I don't know how it is around the rest of the world, but in South Africa, you don't really have much of this. But I'm so impressed by the fact that everywhere you go here, you can pretty much just pay with your phone and you don't need to use any, any cap or anything like that. So that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, Macantini. No, Macantini. Oh, tira, tira, bungos. So how has your experience been at Pick 2? It's been really, really good. Like, I feel like I ate a lot of different foods. I'm really impressed with it, actually. Like, it's so beautiful and well done. And it's just been a really nice city experience, right? To, like, see all the lights and see it in the evening. I feel like in the day it was pretty cool, but in the evening it's really, really beautiful. My experience, well, okay, start to finish when I first got here was hot. So don't come here during the day. Yeah, don't come at three in the afternoon. Make sure you come here more towards sunset because then it becomes much more pleasant. If you need a break from the heat, go, just go and hide in the international grocery store for a couple minutes and when you come out, you'll feel much, much better. The longer I stay here, the more it grew on me. The food options are amazing and there's a lot of different foods to try. It's not really my thing to go out and try different foods. Yeah. And so for me, it was okay, but otherwise the overall experience was amazing. Honestly, the whole pick area, like, it's just unreal. So upscale. It's so upscale. Like, I never knew Jakarta was like this. It's a dog party. <laughs> Our final meal of the day is nasi champur. Nasi champur. Uh, have you had? You've had nasi champur before, yeah. Yeah, I've had nasi champur many times, but we get it a lot in Mumbai. We get it a lot, in, but I've never had this nasi. I mean, nasi champur basically just means like mixed rice. So each place you go, yeah. it's different. Yeah, right? nasi meaning rice and champur being like mixed, so it's gonna be different all the time. But I haven't had this, so I'm really excited to try this. Oh yeah, one hundred percent enough. Hey Jordy, it's really dark here. Should we teleport home? So we just got back to our room from Pick. It was a really great day, and we would absolutely recommend checking it out if you have the opportunity. And we actually do have some really big plans coming up, so make sure you subscribe and keep watching so that you can see all these new crazy things we're going to be doing in the next couple of months. And as always, that's going to be the end of today's vlog. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow, and we appreciate each one of you.